All right, it's July. We're in the second half of the year. What's changing? What's staying the same in the real estate market? Let's get into it. Hey, how you doing guys? Derek here from M1 Realty. I'm the broker owner, founder of the company. Started in 2014. Actually, we started exactly nine years ago on the third floor of an office building here in Ferndale, Michigan. And now we've got a storefront right at the corner of Nine and Woodward. We're the number one real estate company in the city of Ferndale. And I've got an all-star team of agents, whether you're looking to buy, sell, invest, rent, whatever you need, we've got you covered. So if you haven't noticed from all the other videos that I've been doing, uh, this is about the craziest market that I've ever been in personally, and I survived 2008. It seems like the market's kind of stagnated and people are unsure of what's going on. And on the surface, I can see how it seems like this might not be the greatest market ever, but this market is full of opportunities right now, and I'm just worried that most people aren't seeing it. So let's talk about it. The last thing I want to do is see you guys miss out on potentially amazing opportunities so here's my tips for buyers and sellers moving forward from now until the end of the year. A lot of my more recent videos have been geared more towards sellers, so buyers, let's start with you today. The number one most important thing you can possibly do in this market right now is don't wait to get your pre-approval. Get it now, and if you already have one, get in touch with your loan officer, make sure it's up to date, make sure it's accurate, because this market is changing pretty rapidly. And when I say it's changing rapidly, I wish I was talking about inventory, but I'm not. If it's changing, it's just going down. But I'm talking about you know more than just interest rates, although those are kind of in flux right now as well. What I'm more talking about is just the number of programs that these lenders are putting out right now. It seems like every couple of days, somebody's rolling out something new that's geared towards helping buyers kind of navigate this market right now. So that could be anything from like down payment assistance programs, to uh, rate buy down programs. And by down payment assistance, I'm talking there's a lot of like mortgage companies that are providing this as well as like government entities that are, you know, it's geared more towards helping first time buyers, but in the mortgage world, a first time buyer is anybody that hasn't had a mortgage in three years. So if you had a mortgage 10 years ago and you're ready to buy another house again, you're gonna be considered a first time buyer and you will be eligible for like all these programs. And obviously rate buy down programs are exactly what they sound like as well. I know we've done a video on the two one buy down where we use uh, some of the sellers, you know, the seller uh, contribution to buy your rate down. It goes, you know, 2% the first year, it's down 1% the second year, and then it adjusts back up to the prevailing rate the third year, at which point, you know, knock on wood, interest rates will be a lot lower than they are now, so you just refinance out of your, your current interest rate. And there's not just the 2 1 buy down, I think there's like a 3 1 buy down, a 1 1 buy down, there's all kinds of different ones. They're always coming out with new programs. And I don't know if you guys caught this, but just yesterday, uh, United Wholesale Mortgage uh, decreased their minimum credit score for FHA and VA down to 580. It used to be 620. So you can get into a mortgage through them with a credit score of 580 and still get the same excellent service and quick close times that everybody else gets to enjoy. But long story short, just you know, get with your loan officer, make sure that you're in the best program, the best fit for you, because these things are rolling out fast. They don't always, they don't last forever too. So if somebody, a uh, company rolls out a promotion, like a, a two, one buy down and the market changes, you know, that could go away. So let's make sure before you're even ready to put an offer in on a house that we know what program you're going with. We make sure that it's still around and that it's actually the best fit for you. And there's not something else that came out. Uh, that's might, might be a better fit. Number two, make sure your loan officer is an absolute pro. Like realtors, not all loan officers are made the same. And your loan officer can make or break a deal just as easily as your realtor can. So making sure that you're working with someone who has access to programs that can facilitate a quick closing is absolute gold right now. Case in point, if you're working with a loan officer who can get you to the closing table in 14 days versus a loan officer who's gonna take 30 to get you to the closing table, which offer do you think that seller is going to want to work with? They're going to work with the one that closes fast. And that's super, super important right now in this market. And I get it, like just, you know, not being in the industry, maybe you don't know if your loan officer is a rock star or not. Well, I've been in the, this is my 20th year in the business. So if you're not sure if whoever you're working with is going to get the job done and be the best person for you, 
just reach out to me, I'll let you know. Number three, just be patient. You know, there's a lot of competition right now and there's not a ton of houses out there. And so people are competing over a pretty small pool of uh, available homes. And it's not just in our market, it's nationwide. Right now, 99% of metropolitan areas are actually seeing a year over year decrease in the amount of inventory on the market. Um, we're about on pace with where we were a year ago. We're actually, we were on pace with it. We're actually under where we were this time last year as far as inventory goes at this point. So, you know, don't expect to go out, look at four houses and buy one. It, it, hopefully that happens for you, but don't be shocked if it doesn't, if it takes a little bit of time, if it takes, you know, writing offers on multiple homes to get one under contract, you know, that's just part of the deal right now. But that being said, um, you know, it, it's still definitely possible to get in the home that you want. Number four. So I know I just said be patient, but number four is be ready to act quick when that right house hits the market. You can be pretty sure if you find the right house for you, that it's also probably the right house for about three to five other buyers who have seen it as well and want to write an offer on it. So for that reason, like I get it, it's buying a house, it's probably the biggest purchase you're ever gonna make in your life, but don't be afraid to write that sight unseen offer, especially if your agent walks through with a camera or is able to preview it for you. If it looks right, get that offer in now and then deal with checking it out later. It's okay, really it is, I promise. That's what inspection periods are for. You're, you know, you're in, there, there's no, nothing written in stone that says your inspection period has to be you know, the time for just having your inspector out to look at the house. That's your time, you got that period to do all of the due diligence on that home. And that could include going and checking it out in person for the first time. If you get there and it's just not the right feel, you're not getting the right vibe, it's too small, it smells funny, or whatever the case may be, you can just bail on it, move on to the next house, you're not, your deposit's not at risk. Um, that's what that whole time period's for. So uh, be patient, but be ready to move quick. So for home buyers and future home buyers, that's my, that, you know, there's a lot more that goes into it. Those are the, probably the four most important things right now to remember moving forward in this market. Now, home sellers, I've got two pieces of advice for you. They're both super important, so here we go. Number one, try and do a little bit of work to your house to make it you know, a little more appealing than, you know, than, than it would be otherwise. I can't even tell you how many homes I've shown lately where the seller just, they know they're gonna sell their house, so they just do absolutely nothing to it. Scuffs on the walls, torn carpet, uh, you know, dog pet smells. I mean, just not showing very well. It doesn't make it appealing. It's still gonna sell. Somebody's still gonna buy it. But I mean, put a little bit of effort into into it before to getting it ready before you hit the market. And I'm not talking like renovate that kitchen and dump ten grand into the bathroom and and you know the whole nine yards. Uh, it's always been my philosophy, especially if you've worked with me as a you know when I've listed your home for you, you'll know. Uh, you know, it's not my philosophy to, to have my sellers dump a bunch of money into a house that they don't plan on living in anymore. My strategy is just to, you know, kind of price it for, for what it is. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me for, you know, to have somebody dump 20 grand into their kitchen just so they can make 22,000, you know, three months later when the work's finally done. You know, just get it on the market, get it sold, it is what it is. That being said, there is a whole lot to speak of for you know going to Home Depot, spending a couple hundred bucks, and creating that really good first impression when you put the house on the market. Especially this time of year, you know, fresh mulch, some flowers, make sure the lawn is mowed, make sure the you know the front of the house is power washed if you had any weird stains or anything like that on the front of your house, and just keep the interior you know as decluttered as possible. You know, make sure the beds are made, make sure there's not dishes in the sink, just things like that, common sense stuff. It's going to make a difference when it comes time to count how much money you're gonna make on that house. Almost every house is gonna sell in this market. That's just how it is, right? But there's a big difference between selling your house and then selling your house for top dollar. And that's what we want as sellers because you need to take advantage of this market because I don't know if we're ever gonna see another seller's market like this. And I don't know how long this one's gonna go on for. I mean, it could be it could be a couple more months, it could be a couple years, I don't know, I don't think anybody does. But one thing I am 100% certain of is that this market is temporary, it's going to change. Every market always changes. The, the, the one constant of the real estate market is that it's always in some state of flux. And I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't help you do your job as a seller to get the most out of your home. Number two, most importantly here for sellers, 
um, you may well need to open a second bank account to hold all the money that I'm going to make you. That's all I got for you today, guys. I hope this was valuable. Uh, you know, the seller stuff, a little bit in jest. Definitely not in jest making the house, uh, you know, look as appealing as possible when you sell it. But uh, for buyers out there, the mortgage end of it is super, super important. So if you have any questions about any of this, call or text me. My direct line is 586 491 5622. You can also reach me at 248 561 6155. You can email me, dwarenka at m1realty.net. Uh, Facebook, Twitter, Messenger, Instagram, whatever. I'm on all of them. I respond quick. Or just put a comment down below and I'll get back to you. And until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching this. Uh, these, you guys are the reason why I make these videos. I really appreciate it. I uh, love the feedback that I've been getting from people. I love working with the people that have reached out to me from this channel. Uh, that's just an honor. It's awesome that, uh, that this little YouTube channel is uh, allowing me to help people in this market. And one thing I know for sure is I'm going to keep it up. I'm going to keep bringing you uh, important, informative content that's going to help you uh, as a buyer or a seller. And uh, anything else I can do for you guys, just let me know. Until next week, we'll talk soon. Thank you so much and have a great one.